Welcome to today's video. In this one, we're gonna go ahead and take the bags off of our avocado grafts and gather up the rest of the avocado grafts and take a look at how they've been doing. It's been about three weeks, um, so it should have been a good amount of time for them to have healed over. And it does look promising that some of these have some new growth. So let's go ahead, gather up all the plants, and then we'll take a look at the grafts. All right, we have four out of the five grafts right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting away at some of the plastic and see if it's healed over. And then once I get all these uncovered, I'll show you what they look like. But it is pretty promising because you can see we do have some buds, which should mean that these have been successful. All right, unfortunately, I do have some bad news. So with this one, it was a little wet. It's not really healed in. This one, again, also was super wet. The graft actually just comes right off. And then this guy, I'm too afraid to actually remove this because it's doing so good. I'm gonna let that have some more time so it can actually heal. And then this one, same thing. There was actually a lot of water in between um, the graft points. So I think I'm just gonna reset this one and try to redo it, I guess. I don't know. Um, just because it, it doesn't look like it's dead or dying wood, um, but it is just super wet. And I'm not sure if it's gonna take. So I'm gonna reset this graft and I'm gonna put on some new grafting tape and make sure that these are all good. Um, like I said, the grafts, the scions themselves aren't dead. They're still green. They're still um, producing those buds on the side, but they're just not um, adhering to the seedling just yet. So I'm gonna try to reset some of these. Um, this guy, like I said, is doing the best. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, like I said, I'll be happy if I just get one scion. This is an experiment. This is the first time I've done it. So although we are having some mistakes and failures, it's exciting to see that there is possibly a way to improve. So we're gonna give it our best shot. All right, I wanna show something that I think I've learned from this, um, just to help you guys out. Obviously, number one, you can see, I'll just take our scion out. Our scion is still alive. After I cut it with the grafting tape, you can see that it's still white and it's still green and there's still moisture in here. It's still good, it's still living, it's still doing its photosynthesis. However, the seedling, you can see when I grafted this thing, I pretty much ran the knife way too far down. So this gap is too big and there's actually not even enough room for me to um, fix this. So I'm just gonna abandon this avocado for now. It is gonna send up a side shoot because this uh, primary uh, stem is so damaged. And like I said, we do have one of our other seedlings and thankfully this is just about the right size to where I can graft on there. So I'm gonna try to attempt to make a new graft and be a lot more careful about the depth of the cut that I'm making. And actually we might even be able to use our grafting tool um, to go ahead and do that for this graft. So that's what I'm gonna do with that one. All right, we've taken our grafting tool and actually made a nice cut. You can see here is our little triangle cut and here is the seedling. It fits on pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and graft tape this guy. Um, and then that'll be our solution and our fix for this. And then we can keep going forward. All right, our repairs are done. We have all of our grafts um, back in the shade, most importantly, so that they don't dry out. And I'm gonna cover this with this jar. Um, but we went in and we actually used our tool so that the cuts on the grafts were a lot tighter to the seedlings. And so, the scions are attached a lot closer um, so there isn't that gap anymore where there was that that uh, little pocket of air so that um, the seedling actually doesn't die this time and dries out so like i said the grafts are a lot better the grafting tape is a lot tighter so i have high hopes that um, we actually fixed our issue with the grafts and i'm hoping that they take like i said this is our best one it's actually starting to produce some of those blooms on the side um, I'm going to take a look at our big tree, but that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned something from my mistakes when grafting. Always try to make sure that there's no random pockets of air, that there's a tight seal, and that the grafting tape, especially if you're using grafting tape, that is tightly wound so that water doesn't intrude into that cut. But like I said, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead, leave a like, and I will catch you guys in the next one.